top 10 largest monsters in the mist. What's up, folks? Welcome back to Factolic. So, last time around, we made an explanation video about all the creatures that appeared in Stephen King's The Mist. And today, we're back again with something similar. After all, in this video, you'll be seeing the creatures of the mist again, but this time around, it's going to be a countdown of the top 10 largest monsters in the mist. Now, before we begin, if you want to see a separate explanation video of each monster, do leave your comments down below. All right, so, are you guys ready for the countdown? Well, then let's just get right into it. Number 10, green fly, 0.5 feet. So the first creature in our list today is the large green dragonfly-like insect that alight on the hood of David's scout and shortly after flew off through the mist out of sight. Yes, it's the green fly we're talking about, and it is one hell of a dragonfly. Twisted, deformed, and, as its name suggests, green. Number 2. Scorpion Flies, 2 feet These are small, plump, 2 feet long, flying wasp-like creatures which swarm over the store windows at night. Scorpion Flies are also known to carry a lethal neurotoxin that causes massive swelling and suffocation within a few minutes. And in the film, we saw it killing Sally with it. I'm telling you, this fly is pretty nasty. Number 8. Grey Widowers, 2-3 to three feet Grey Widowers are deadly, spider-like predators, each about the size of a dog, which have the ability to produce corrosive spider webs that can burn through materials like clothing and flesh. Also, I don't know if you've noticed this while watching the film, but the Grey Widower's acidic webbing appears to be based off the corrosive blood of the Xenomorphs from Alien and its sequels. Number 7. Giant Spider Creatures, 6 to 8 feet Okay, so now we have the giant spider creatures, of which we only saw their burning corpses and nothing much, but that was enough for us to find out that these were large spider-like creatures much like Grey Widowers, and each one was about the size of a car. Number 6. Tarot Buzzard, 6 to 10 feet. These are nocturnal, pterosaur like creatures with four wings. Although tarot buzzards usually only eat scorpion flies, they won't really mind attacking humans and making a meal out of them if they get too close. Number 5. Terrorpede, about 10 to 12 feet. What do you call a giant man-eating centipede? Well, meet the Terrorpede, a giant nocturnal creature of the mist which was seen in the storyboard art for the mist but wasn't featured in the finished film. The monstrous centipede has huge claw-like antenna with red tips, supposedly from biting into something. In the novella, they live in trees while eating tentacles, or tentacles eating them, preying on each other. Number 4. Tentacles from Planet X 20 to 30 feet. The tentacles from Planet X, as nicknamed by Norton's group, are the limbs of an unseen creature in the mist and are known for killing Norm in the storage room. Now, if we had any more details about the monster where the tentacles originated from, then this creature could have been the second largest, but too bad we're stuck with the tentacles only for now. Also, fun fact these tentacles even made a cameo appearance in the DC movie Shazam. But sadly, here too, the creature in question only revealed its tentacles. Number 3. Arachna Lobster The Arachna Lobster is a fairly large lobster-like predator, which kills its victims by cutting them in half in its huge mantis-like claws or biting their heads off. In the film, the Arachna Lobster is roughly two stories tall, with fleshy, not entirely insectile skin. Number 2. Killer Kite, 120 feet. So the second largest monster in the mist is another one of those that only appeared in the novella and wasn't present in the film. The killer kite, as its name suggests, is a dinosaur-sized kite-like creature glimpsed flying through the mist over David's scout when his car was on Kansas Road. The killer kite is described as a nightmarish, half-seen living kite through the mist. This beastly kite is also depicted as having three webbed appendages tapered into tendrils which make up its body, giving it a resemblance to a kite or a crucifix. Number 1. Behemoth – Over 240 feet Now, there's no doubt about it, the first place was always going to go to the behemoth, which is by far the largest creature seen in either the novella or the film. 
the behemoth is a gigantic six-legged beast of a monster. Its very size is a hazard and was enough to frighten the survivors into thinking that there was nothing any better ahead of them. I mean, even in a novella, David gets an impression that the behemoth's size would make a blue whale resemble a trout and also dwarf the largest dinosaur. So if you do the math, then this monstrosity would easily dwarf the largest of kaiju as well and his name only does more justice to its size because it's a behemoth of epic proportions. All right then, there you have it. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. And if you want to keep watching more videos like these, then don't forget to smash like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep watching Factolic.